Hello, welcome to the Middle Kingdom. My name is Adam. In a few of my videos I've posted this year, I've visited regular hospitals here in China. But today I've come to visit a traditional Chinese medicine hospital. Traditional Chinese medicine is one of the oldest medical practices in the world. And it's back around 2,200 years. I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Since I came back from England, I haven't adjusted to the time distance difference very well and I haven't been sleeping too well. Also got a little bit of a dodgy stomach. So in the past, I've used traditional Chinese herbal medicine a few times before and it's worked pretty well. So I'm gonna come today and see if I can get a formula from the doctor here. Let's head inside and see what this place looks like. I think it is really cool to come into the old traditional Chinese medical practices like this one. It really feels like you're taking a little bit of a step back in time. I see the doctor. The lady took me upstairs to his room and this guy didn't speak any English, so I had to call somebody who could translate. He sat there for quite a while thinking about the formula and I think he was pretty surprised to see a foreigner come into this tra traditional Chinese medicine practice. Then he walked me downstairs, shook hands and he's a really friendly, smiley old guy. And yeah, I got a formula, it cost me 543 RMB, which is more than $70. A little bit more expensive than I paid for traditional Chinese herbal medicine in the past. Gotta wait a couple of hours now for them to cook it. So let's have a little bit of a look around the local area. Then we're gonna pick up the medicine, head home and give it a try, see what it tastes like. come to some of the older districts in the center of the city of Nanjing but often you'll come across these boards which have all the latest newspapers inside them with what seems to be a selection of stories on 
all sorts of different topics ranging from engineering to space travel and schools and medicine and I think it is really interesting to see these and walk past them and even if you don't understand what they're saying it is pretty cool to look at the pictures and try and read a little bit of it. Behind this traditional Chinese medicine practice, I found a community with these blue colored buildings that is called the AGNC community. Let's go and have a little bit of a walk around it and see what the shops and buildings here look like. I'm pretty excited to get this medicine back so we can take a look and see what kind of interesting ingredients that the doctor has prescribed me. Depending on which community you live in here in Nanjing, sometimes you'll have shelves outside your community, like the ones you can see beside me. And if you order a food delivery, they will leave it on the shelf so you can come to the gate and collect it. I guess this speeds things up a little bit and saves the delivery drivers having to come inside and travel up to all the different apartments. Western medicine, usually our, our prescribed medicine that aims to treat the problem that you have. Whereas with Chinese traditional medicine, as well as treatment, there is a real focus on preventing future illness as well. So any kind of formula or treatment that you get will have an element of preventing future illness in it. And they will look at trying to create a balance in the energies in your body with a focus on both the body and the mind being important they believe that you need to have both a healthy mod body and a healthy mind to stay away from illnesses 
It's interesting, to, yeah, traditional Chinese medicine isn't only the herbal medicine, also comprises of things like Tai Chi, which focuses more on the mind and relaxation and also acupuncture as well, which is really popular here in China. I've just collected my bag of traditional Chinese herbal medicine. I'm gonna head home now under the Yangtze River and we can take a look at what ingredients are in this formula. It is always really interesting to see all the different kinds of unique and unusual herbs that you find in traditional Chinese medicine. Then I'm gonna give it a taste and let you know what it tastes like. When you prescribe traditional Chinese herbal medicine, you can either get the raw ingredients wrapped up in a package, which you can then bring home and boil in some water. It is, however, much easier for them to boil it for you, and you can just collect it in packets like this one. I've got 14 packets, so I've got to gently heat them up a little bit. Don't need to boil them, just get them a little bit warm. And yeah, I need to drink it twice a day. 
Let's go heat it up and see what it tastes like. And I'm gonna show you some of the ingredients now as well. This formula, while it was cooking, had a really strong smell of cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of the main ingredients in this formula and it's really good for bringing down inflammation. Now I've tasted it. It tastes a little bit earthy. There is a hint of cinnamon, warm Christmassy kind of smell, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't taste bad. It tastes just a hint of cinnamon, hint of earthy kind of flavor and yeah, it's not, it's not so bad. So I'm gonna keep on taking this. And last time I took traditional herbal medicine, I had some really strong and vivid dreams at nighttime as well, which was quite exciting. So I'm gonna hope in, maybe that will happen again, but yeah, we'll see how it goes and hopefully it can help my symptoms. Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of traditional Chinese medicine and whether you've ever tried any. Also remember to like and subscribe, got a lot of videos coming up over the next few weeks.